Day 176 without sex. I gagged on my toothbrush and I liked it. Day 283 without sex. A mosquito sucked on my neck and I moaned a little bit. Day 678 without sex. Someone said, who's a good girl at the dog park? And I said, me daddy. Day 98 without sex. I slammed on my brakes so my seatbelt could choke me. <laughs> totally not like this. These are just jokes I found on Twitter, period. What's up, you all? It's me, Maya March, and I'm here with a talk through for like the second time. I think I did a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. But this time we having a sex talk. This is the first time this is going to be taking place on the channel. Um, I'm just doing this because I feel like I told people I'd do it and I never did it. So now we're here. Okay, I'm gonna just jump into some things um, today because I don't want to, I know everybody always be like, just, just go into the video. Okay, as you can see, the title is, what is it going to be? It's going to be like Sex Talk, My Celibacy Story. Okay, so I asked people questions like, what should I answer? And so we are going to get into that. So, oh, why did I choose to be celibate? All right, okay. So this is not going to be a long video. I'm just going to break things down and I'm going to try to wrap it up in like 10, no more than 15 minutes. Um, I chose to be celibate because, all right, this is the first time to be really, really, really transparent with you all. Um... Honestly, I chose to be celibate because I kind of got my heart broke. Okay, not kind of. I guess I did. I'm an Aries y'all, by the way, so we don't like to admit that our feelings was hurt. But anyways, um, I got my heart broke. And I just felt like dudes was just trying to play with me, you know? Um, and I don't play that. I don't, I don't know. I'm all about respect and everything. So I was just like, I'm not giving away my goodies to somebody who playing with me. You know what I'm saying? I deserve a, a Benz or something. You know what they say? You're going to cry in a Nissan or the, or the Royce Royce or the Benz. I'd rather do that, period, if I'm a cry, okay? So I just stopped giving it up. I mean, I wasn't even giving it up like that, but I'm just saying, like, I just wanted to get a better understanding of who I am again. I feel like I kind of lost myself in, like, relationships. I only have, well, one major relationship. Um, I kind of lost myself in that relationship. So I was just like, you know what? I need to take a step back and kind of get to know me again. And, like, the one moment that I could kind of remember the last moment or the last time I really quite remember exactly who I was was when I wasn't having sex. And so I was just like you know what, I'm gonna I'm go back, I'm gonna go back to who I was and see if we can start over and just be exactly who I was. Like, I remember when I wasn't having, like, sex and everything, I was, like, on top of everything. I was on top of work, I was on top of school, I was, like, literally the best Maya I could be. I was getting treated just like the princess or queen that I was. I never allowed nobody to play a game with me. Like, everything was just right. Like, I was getting spoiled, and then I feel like once I just start, you know, basically, you know, you know, in in uh exchanging <laughs> my energy with people um not like okay my first you know little boyfriend whatever like you know it was cool um he was just super super sweet or whatever um but it was my you know my second relationship i just felt like i was getting taken advantage of and so once we broke up that was a wrap it was a wrap for me like i was just like over dudes not like really but at the same time I was so like I really don't have a love life right now currently um I just don't because I just why don't I have a love life I don't know I'm just tired of talking to people it's like at this point like I'm getting older and everything and I'm just now like I'm not even ready to per se start no uh, family but I'm kind of ready to find like a husband and I am kind of in like five more years I'll be ready to start a family it say, let me see, what's the next question? Is it hard to maintain? 
Yes. No. Yes. Okay, here we go. So at the beginning, it was kind of hard to maintain because I didn't have like a direct like goal or anything. Um, I was just like kind of doing it because I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just take a break. Like far as I was concerned, I was just taking a break. Oh, um, this is another question I guess I'll answer right now is how long has I been, have I been celibate and it's been dun, 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 on, a, in, on August 1st, it'll be 11 months like completely and I did not know I was going to go that long never planned to go that long um it just kind of I feel like I stumbled upon 11 months um but anyways to say is it hard to maintain it's like a yes and a no so like at the beginning I think I kind of had it in my mind like I wasn't tripping so it wasn't really that hard mid months I feel like I was just like I'm over this like I'm finna I remember talking to my best friend I'm like I'm finna just fine not saying it like that guys but i was like i'm gonna just find somebody or you know i was, I think i was talking to like one of these other dudes i'm just like you know what he, he could get it i don't even care um, and not trying to sound like that but for real that's just how i was she was like no why would you do that you should just keep holding on for a little second i'm like oh wow like what's so important about it and i don't know you just kind of I don't know. I feel like I was suppressing my like sexual desires. So at one point, I'm just like, I don't want to do this no more. But now that I'm here, it's like, it's really not hard. Like 11 months in, like I really could keep going. But at the same time, I know like I don't want to go too long. Like I, you know, I know some people went three to five years. I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm not like going to three to five years i think i definitely want to hit the one year plus whatever months um or whatever but i don't want to go to two years i'm being honest this is just something i had to do for myself and i actually feel better it like helped me i feel like it helped me gain my confidence back i feel like i gained my power of, of self-identity back when i stopped doing um once i stopped having sex or whatever because i do feel like as a woman we always um neglect to remember that like i don't know like i just feel like having you know you know having cookies or whatever you know a little you know that's like power that's so powerful to have that and like a lot of women just fail to realize that we really hold the power so like once i stopped doing that i was i just felt like i gained my power back because it's like i don't know for some reason for me i feel like i'm giving power up to when if i was to give myself to a man who don't even care about me um we could go into different things because like i don't really have a problem with that maybe like in like my college ages but i just you know finished graduating college so i'm kind of over that phase um so i don't think there's nothing wrong with like having casual um exchanges with people but it's like after a while it's dead that's dead i'm sorry i don't want to do that anymore at, at, after a certain point or at a certain age you just start feeling used unless like maybe until when i get like real old like my 30s or something i know that's not old y'all but when until i get into like my 30s or 40s i'm not gonna feel like casual you know sex is cool right now i'm like no nah, i'm kind of trying to find like build a foundation with somebody and say how long do you plan on keeping it i think i answered that i said I don't plan on keeping it super long, maybe at most like a year and a half. So we going on 11 months, but, um, but I pray I do find somebody soon. Um, I know that sounds really weird, but I just don't, I'm being transparent. This is the first time I'm really, I can't believe I'm being this open instead of, but I don't want a lot of y'all. I don't want to act like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep the motherfuckers or whatever. Uh, but okay so they say what kind of responses do you get when you say you're celibate so i do not have a love life so i honestly don't talk to like anybody um so i don't really get too many responses i mean unless i say it openly in the public a lot of people just always be like dang you stronger than me like i could never do that or some people be like that's cool but I kind of almost feel like I get more negative response than positive or not like negative, more like neutral. It don't be just like, oh, that's super cool. It kind of be like, I don't know, for a long time, I kind of was feeling like I was lame because like everybody do it. And, um, you know, to say you don't, it's like sometimes people be like, dang, I couldn't do that. I got to get mine. You know, I don't know. Um, but now I feel 
feel so confident to say that like that sounds so dope like everybody doing the same thing so um i thought it was really cool to be like able to stand out and be like yeah no i don't do that um but i don't think there's nothing wrong with doing it i just think it's like super cool to be like yeah i got the like strength to not do it it says um what was the positive things i think i told you that so we finna wrap up the video real soon or whatever but basically all the positive things was i gained my power back i'm back in my back um <laughs> let's see i got respect back um it for myself even if nobody else want to respect me i respect myself even more now because it's like I'm actually in control of who I'm gonna allow in my life. And like, that's another thing. Like when you having sex, you have like these like toxic ties to people and like they may not even be right, but you willing to like, I don't know, basically lower your standards just to like make somebody else feel, well no, to like satisfy that sexual desire. But afterwards you still feeling left incomplete because at the end of the day, if somebody, for me, if I'm exchanging myself with somebody sexually and then like after it, like after it's done, it's like sometimes you could be cool with like we just cool but it's a difference when you already have it in your mental that you're gonna be just cool with somebody versus like you like somebody or you think it's gonna be more than what it is so it, it depends on the relationship status like if you know that's just all what y'all doing you're not gonna have like a problem with doing that you know you're not gonna you're gonna just be we imagine we out of there <laughs> But you know this is just what it is but when you like somebody or you think it's gonna be more than what it is and then you exchange that energy with them no that's toxic sis you gotta let it go because at the end of the day if if he not doing what you want him to do cut it off cut it off period point blank period that is a privilege to give to somebody and like i just feel like as a woman or as a girl woman whichever you want to call yourself you always got to remember that's your superpower nobody can ever take that away from you so i think i think i answered that so i think i always i answered majority of the questions so i i stopped because i got my heart broke i wanted to gain my um well i wanted to learn myself again and, and i'm trying to see i don't know i'm just saying you know what i'm saying i, I gave you bitches trying to pick up your motherfucking cookies i mean you put cookies is still still sorry <laughs> but it's still a hot girl summer period sis it's a a hot girl summer is being unapologetically you yourself so that does not include you having to be like an extra high girl jumping on you know what I'm saying? but yeah anyway so it's still a hot girl summer and i just wanted to throw in there that i didn't even i never i didn't have sex in, when i was in high school i waited till when i was in college because i was really waiting to marriage but that's a whole nother story if y'all want that story time but anyways just wanted to say it's a hot girl summer summer still mm -hmm. <laughs> um i think that was it if you have any more like questions or comments let's get the conversation started down below in the comment section um if you are celibate let me know how long you have been once again i said mine was 11 months officially august 1st i'm super excited um and i think that's it yeah oh and then this hair tutorial this hair tutorial will be on the channel feature tomorrow so i'm dropping this video today and then tomorrow you're gonna get this official hair tutorial here it is so if you're new to the channel this is kind of more like a natural hair channel but we're changing it to a lifestyle channel so make sure you comment down below see tell me what else you would like to see from me i hope this um video was beneficial um i hope you learned something if you didn't um still you know it's all love um until later you all bye